The giant sea bass has been critically endangered for decades. But a local researcher is discovering that there's a lot more that we may not know yet about the population. News 8's Netta Aranpour explains the mystery in this Earth 8 report. The giant sea bass is certainly a favorite here at the Birch Aquarium. This one is nearly 300 pounds, has been here for about 30 years. Now it's rare to see them out in the ocean, which is why for decades they've been considered critically endangered. But a local researcher taking it upon himself to learn more about these elusive sea creatures. They can grow to be the length of a smart car, up to nearly nine feet, and they can weigh up to 560 pounds and live for more than 75 years. The giant sea bass is quite a remarkable fish. It's a fish that has captured the inquisitive mind of Arturo Ramirez with Scripps Institution of Oceanography. I study fish, and this is the largest and the most uh iconic fish. He has now dedicated his research to learning about a fish that's been categorized as critically endangered due to overfishing in the early 1900s. His passion really started when he was out scuba diving in La Jolla back in 2016. I was just diving and I saw this bit large fish. I couldn't believe that the fish actually uh, stick with us like the entire dive. Now this fish has been protected. You can't fish it in the U.S. ever since 1981, but there's really not much research on them in Mexico and not much regulation there. We were lacking of all kind of data from Mexico. Something Arturo discovered during his many trips to Baja California. He would see the giant sea bass for sale at fish markets in Mexico, and the fishermen were willing to offer him more. He tried to reach out to a network of researchers on both sides of the border, but there was really nothing from the government or any scientists. So he's now crossing the border regularly, speaking directly with the fishermen. Tell me everything about this, like how often and how, may, like how much you you are selling. Now it seems there are more giant sea bass in Mexico than initially thought, and more than 70% of the population is likely south of our border, which is why getting more information from Mexico is so important. I am looking at the cross sections of the fish otoliths. Which in his lab, he has several samples of ear bones, which help in learning their history. We can see many rings. Probably this fish was older than 40, 40 years. Just like counting the rings on trees, they count the rings on giant sea bass as ear bones. And in this case, when the rings are smaller or lighter, it represents a tough season when they weren't growing or eating as much. He also has a sample of a female fish's reproductive organ that reveals how many babies they have. This is crucial because one of the most successful uh, fishery regulations is to close uh, the fishery when they are reproducing. All information that could unravel the mystery of this fish's population and help them come up with the best way to manage them. Arturo believes the giant sea bass is a good ambassador to get people more involved in this cross-border research and regulations because he believes this may not be the only fish that's misrepresented. By the way, the giant sea bass, not at all related to the sea bass. For Earth 8, I'm Nadia Iranpour.